Hello, welcome to Bitbender Studio. Today we're going to be talking about how to actually use the list edit. This is something that a lot of archive, like the new users now, um, have not been, you know, kind of familiar with, and it's going to make your workflow a lot easier if you understand how to use the list edit. So let's go. Welcome back. Before we take it, you know, uh, a dive into using the list edit, you need to understand, let's just say one of the things that will allow you to actually say, let me go and use the list edit. And one of them is the system level. Now, if you are the type of um, person or a producer that has been using system level a lot, you know, for your project, which is actually kind of very cool, I find it very interesting. Sometimes I need to just, you know, tune a beat or tune a particular sample. How about, you are done recording your system level, and but if you go to grid view, you are actually not going to see anything. You know, there, there's nothing on the screen that will tell you that oh, this event you are looking at right now is a product of list uh, of system level, right? So the best way to do about that is okay, fine. You know what? Um, that is where you have your list edit, and if you go to your menu, you see it here, list edit. Right now, being a new project, nothing is here. So let's go and create. You know some couple of events some midi events and then you will see how this we, we are going to use system level we will see in grid view what we're going to see which will not be different from the normal thing you see but for you to be able to manipulate the event of those system levels you that's when we now go into list edit so um let's dive in right away let me go back to me and i'll just try and quickly load up a sample any drum set to work Yes, any drum set will work. We just basically want to do one thing here to set up the, um, to use the system level. So, so let's say this is what we're, this one want to work with this particular one. So all I need to do is engage system level, right? Right. Okay. System level is active. Is on tune, and yeah, that is there. Then let's just say, let me take this back to maybe two. I just need something simple. Okay. Stop. Let's check this view. Look how we have here. Now, what we have here basically, it's telling me that yes, I put activities there, but I'm not really able to know the parameters of each of these activities, right? That's just all I have here. The parameters of the activities I cannot tell, right? Then if I come here, I still cannot tell. And, I, and I've already applied tuning. To it so let me see with system level i already applied tuning to this but i can still i still cannot tell here but what we have here if you play it again as you can see there's little to nothing you can see here to edit or to manipulate and let me say oh maybe i'm hearing something a particular one i do not like or i want to alter it which something maybe like the the system level that this particular archive device, you know, you know, automatically calculate or predict or give to me in terms of evenly spreading the whole or evenly distributing the whole tuning is not what I want. I, I, there's something else I need. There's a particular sound I, I'm looking for. That's where your list edit comes to play. Now, what list edit does is it helps you to list all those events and you can actually see everything about the event and you can still edit. Now, let's go to list edit, which is like menu part 15. Um, yeah, that's where we are. As you can see, everything we've done here right now, this is, this is the list of what we've done using the system level. Like I said, list edit, you know, system level is one of the things you can actually edit or modify on using the list edit. The legendary, or do I say the, the oldies, let me use that word, in the archive industry, the you know old Akai MPC devices, they they will be familiar a lot with this. 
because that's basically what they what is being used before you know we start having the grid view right now here now um look can you see what just happened right now Let, if i play now you will see this particular red um triangle it will move from top to bottom telling me showing me at each location and giving me what is being played let's do that it still goes down that's why good let's stop it now this place is showing me the time right the time of that event and then yes the midi event then we have the pad and the note it's pad pad one that we're working with that's what, what you see here the length while i was playing it which might not really make much of a difference if you are using it for maybe instruments like beats the kick and all those things it might not really make a difference one strike is already you know it's already in there but maybe if you are doing it for maybe something like um those other scenes and all those piano kind of like instruments that requires you to hold the notes that is when the length might be very very important then the velocity you get the rate at which i actually punched it in it might i might need it to be maybe smaller or probably i might need everything to just be uniform and all that then the modification type that is at, that is um you know affected on this particular you know, um, event is tuning and the value is 40. let me show you something the parameters that can be modified here i can modify the value right from here the first thing i'm hearing there if i play again You can see 40, 40, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10, 10. I can switch it up. I'm clicking here right now. I can take it up to... Let me even reduce it. I can take it to minus. And I'll play it for you. Did you hear that? Let me take it also to minus 30. Now, did you hear that? So it means you can actually modify those things here. If you are getting a particular sound or a particular tone you are, you are not, you know, um, cool with, in line with the work you are doing, and you actually recorded that using your system level, just go to your list edit, and then you can manually modify the values, and it will give you a different sound entirely. Remember what was there before and what is there now. And now, even can I see minus 30 and 30? So you can manually just set it here because 16 level will do for you automatically. But on here, listed it, you can modify this. You can change the mode type here as well. You can change it here, and then it's basically that's what will be affected on you know your 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 event. Your velocity, you can also change it from here. What we have right now, which is 113. If I take it down it, and I take the second one down, oh sorry, not you. If I take this also down, it will be lower than the rest of them. Play. You can see. So if I take it down a little further, it will be softer again. So in summary, then the length, that is if you need to edit, um, you can double click to maximize it anyway and you can edit, modify it from here. If you need to edit the length, let's say for maybe piano or maybe for guitar or something like that, this works for you. You can go ahead and edit the length of that particular event. And this is where we are, part of the note, the one you are currently working on, it's A1. So here too, you can change it. You can say, okay, everything I've done here, I don't want you to apply to maybe the first part again i want to take it to the second part be my guess a2 and then by the time you play you get a different thing entirely why because if you come back to the main this one this what's in main if i change it to a3 that particular effect will be applied to this let's go back there 15 let me change this to a3 a3 then play i believe you get that concept now sorry you cannot modify this this time that you're actually punching the effect 
you can't modify this. Basically, you can see, you can't modify, you can just move up and down here. But virtually everything else here, you can modify. You get your tuning, your values and all that. You can modify all those ones. And you can even insert and you can delete. So let's say I do not want this very second one. This one, I don't want it there. You can actually delete it. Simply hit the delete button, it's gone. Although undo can bring it back, don't worry. Or you can bring it back, but mostly when you delete, it's gone. Then let's listen to what we have right now. Did you get? So this is where you can actually edit in bits and pieces. So I can come here and delete this. Come here and delete this. Delete. I can delete this. I can delete this. And this. I'll be left, okay, I can also take this off. Then I'll be left with. Do you get, this is, this is just for the, for you to know that, okay, a lot of things you can do. You can even insert, you can actually insert right here. You specify the type that you want to insert. It's a note, then the part that you are trying to insert. So part A1, right, then, you know, normally we're talking about our bar, beat, and the tick. Uh, let me show you something. Our bar, beat, and the tick. That's what you have here on, on your timeline. So the first bar, the first beat, or and then the tick is zero, second bar, first bar, second beat. So you can, just, you can just insert into anywhere you want. So let's say you want to insert it in here. In here. In between. If I want to insert something in between these two, one, zero, two, 480 and 103480. I can just come to insert one bit will be three, and then this can also be 480, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, and here we are. Do it as you can see in between the 101. Oh, sorry, okay, I did 102. Yeah, can you see between the 102480 and 104480? I already inserted 103480. So I can now come here, apply the modification that I want to apply, and I can set the values here. I can set the, the velocity and it to be active as well. Let me take it up, then we'll play. That is just all, guys. It is as simple as this. But the knowledge of this will improve your workflow. It will make you, you know, work smarter and to be able to like be more productive. When you know that, oh, that list edit right here, there's actually a function for it. We're, also, we're still going to take a you know, further look at it and some other aspects where um, it also affects. It's not only for system level. There are some other parameters you can modify somewhere else and then you come to the list edit and you see them as well. And you will be able to edit you know and work on it seamlessly so <laughs> i believe you've actually been able to pick a thing or two from here and um, that'll be all for now don't forget to like subscribe and um, we'll see you in the next one